So when it comes to HRS, where the customer is, do you use AWS or your multi-cloud so company? We're a multi-cloud company, but we're primarily a, a AWS. So we have a couple of things that are distributed by nature of where the company is still uh, in our journey towards um, um, cloud. And there are some things that are in other cloud providers, but we're primarily on AWS. And what can be a reason uh, for a company to go multi-cloud? Why not to stay like, because today uh, cloud providers has uh, have data centers in most of the regions, right? So location is not so important. Would, would, do you see any business reasons you believe that that's Yeah, I, I think there are some business reasons where that why people make different decisions, right? So ours is just, and um, I think ours was we decided to do, go with AWS, and we're going all in with AWS. But in, in, in inherently, right, when we started, we didn't start from AWS. Um, and and we, you, one must be aware that HRS is a 50 year old company. <laughs> It's been around for a really long time. Um, so and some other businesses have different reasons. So when you make when you make acquisitions or mergers, M and A's, uh, any company you acquire might be on a, a company you acquire might be on a different cloud provider before, prior to your acquisition, right? So, and if you look at the technical complexity it takes to move into on, one cloud solution, and then how you want to reallocate investment capacity, it might not it might just be worth it to leave it as multi cloud at that mo moment in time. Okay, so legacy acquisition, so to some extent, also legacy, right? Mm -hmm. Any other reason besides that? I think some for sometimes I some technical reasons, but for me, so, so some people have technical reasons, but personally, I don't think those technical reasons are big enough. At least the ones I've seen uh, to make because eventually, right? If I think about the way we look at decisions at HRS, we are quite we have a leading we have a set of leading principles. And our leading principle, one of the number one leading principle says customer view first. And to be honest, the customer <laughs> doesn't care if you are running on in the Pacific Ocean or running on uh, on on maybe black hole out space out of space, right? <laughs> <laughs> But you get the idea that what I'm trying to say, right? They really they really don't care if it runs any what they want is value. And uh what they want is value in with regards in, in the context of um let's say the data privacy, legal compliance, and all that stuff. And as long as that value is satisfied within the constraint of how you satisfy that customer value, they are fine. And this is how I would make any any decision with us, with us single cloud or multi-cloud. Okay, and what are the main pain points like now in the HRS group coming out of being multi-cloud? I think it's... so. Literally, we are, like I said, right? We are, we are coming from a lot of uh, on-premise, and then we have a couple of things that maybe because of acquisitions somewhere else. But um, for me, it's more culture. If I'm thinking about on-premise and I'm thinking about the cloud, this is a totally different mind mind shift with regards to how we work, right? And it's not it's not. Um, it, I think the most important bit of the problem, I would say, or the most important challenge is solving for culture and really changing people's mindsets. I remember when we used to have, not at HRS, but at a different company, we used to have Adobe clusters. Um, and then, which were on-premise, it was 14-node cluster. And it was a pain in the in the neck for engineers, especially me being a data engineer and being part of the data platform team to solve back then, right? And when we decided that we were moving to a data lake on AWS, people could use, instead of, shared resources with Hive, you could now use Presto and Presto would scale infinitely. It was a, it required a lot of people to switch out the work. And if you know people, we are people who are very comfortable with inertia. <laughs> so the most important problem that I see with multi-cloud in anything at all is the culture. Um, I had a, a change in culture, either hybrid or let's say you're using Google with Azure with AWS, it's usually the culture. Some people are really stuck with, we want to use AWS and we want to use AWS. Some people are really stuck to say, we want to use Google and we stick with Google. And just to get people to work together, to see that it's not a competition when we're in the context of the company because the customer of the company doesn't see that competition. What the customer sees is the single value that he or she wants to get. And we all need to get the teams to sit together and understand that we are going towards one particular direction together. 
which is to serve the customer through the business. That's, that's actually a very good point. Like uh, I, I can imagine lots of issues come out of uh, acquisitions, right? Then people are extremely deep already in a specific cloud, right? And we don't want to let go. Thank you.